Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we're gonna just talk a little bit about potassium iodide pills. If you're a prepper, you definitely want some of these. If you're someone who's not in the prepping, I'm going to just explain a couple of things to you that might change your mind about at least wanting some of these pills. First, let's talk about um, what these are. These are potassium iodide. They're an iodine that your thyroid, which is located in your neck, can absorb. And this will saturate your thyroid to the point where it can no longer um, store or, or, or take in any more iodine. So why is that important? Well, if you have a nuclear catastrophe, such as a nuclear reactor melting down, or a dirty bomb, or a real nuclear bomb going off, it's going to give off a lot of different kinds of radiation. One of those types of radiation is a iodine related radiation. I'm, I'm not an expert at this by the way so I'm not going to go into too great a detail and you could do your own research which I really encourage you to do but this radioactive iodine if it's absorbed by your thyroid um, you'll end up with all kinds of cancer um, and you can read about it if you want or, or whatever, go into any detail. But what this pill will do is saturate your thyroid gland with good, relatively safe iodine and it will, you know, keep it from absorbing the radioactive iodine. It's that simple. It, it's filling up the cup of water so no more dirty water can get into it. I don't know how else to explain it. So, if you live close to a reactor a nuclear reactor this is a good idea to have as a matter of fact even the government thinks you should have it because the government had bought a crap load of these in 1982 and they gave it to nuclear power plants to distribute to communities around their reactors this is this particular brand IOSAT is the one that the FDA approved the full strength pill it's the only one that's been approved by the FDA is what I'm trying to say so it's pretty cheap and I went ahead and put a link on Amazon to get these it only cost six dollars and seventy nine cents and this would give an adult two weeks uh, worth of potassium iodide uh, an adult would take one of these pills every day and that would keep you from absorbing any of the bad radioactive iodine from let's say a nuclear reactor that had a meltdown close by now We'll, we'll take a closer look, but I want to talk to you about nuclear reactors first. Some of these you might recognize, some of these you might not. Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, Fukushima. These are all, all very well-known reactors that had meltdowns and have vented nuclear or partial meltdowns that uh, vented radiation <laughs> into our atmosphere. And... Chernobyl, I think, uh, that was catastrophic blow up and everything. People died, okay? And a lot of people are, have died from cancer relating to the radioactive iodine. Dying. And if they had taken these pills, um, that would have happened to them or it would have reduced the risk. So, now, another one in the U.S. right here that I bet you nobody knew about or not too many people know about is in 1959 in the Simi Valley California area there was a place called the Santa Susana or Suana Field Laboratory and their sodium reactor um, actually had a meltdown and there's a, a nice radioactive place around there that a lot of people don't know about and uh, there's a lot more nuclear accidents that people don't know about I went ahead and put a link in the description box down there um, Wikipedia and it's a list of all the nuclear accidents by country so you can see uh, how much <laughs> you know it's these things are not 100% safe nothing is in life so if you live and I'll go ahead and, and flash up a map right now at least in the US and you can see all the areas that you uh, stand the chance to getting radio <laughs> radiated 
um, if, it, if your reactor had a nuclear meltdown, and you could see in that map, um, covers a lot of the United States and mostly the mostly populated areas are definitely uh, scattered with nuclear reactors. So, and that's just one problem. And then of course you have other issues like dirty bombs from terrorists uh, and real nuclear bombs from war and terrorists. So there's a whole bunch of things and this is relatively inexpensive to protect your family from one of the side effects of being um, nuclear radiated. You know, there are other things you can't do anything about. I mean, if you're close to a, a nuclear bomb, um, there are other things that that bomb's going to give off that's going to kill you and the uh, radioactive iodine. But this gives you a chance against one of the things. If you sort of live further away from an incident, uh, really all you need to worry about is the fallout that contains the radioactive iodide and this will protect you and it's not meant as a permanent solution. You don't want to continually take these. This is for you to take until you can get out of the area into a safe area. So you don't, you know, you don't want to keep on taking these. So what you should do is get enough for you and your family, uh, a reasonable amount, and it's relatively inexpensive. Again, this is only six dollars seventy-nine cents. And um, uh, enough so you can get your stuff together, thoughtfully, um, methodically, and get out of the area. You know, get your belongings, whatever is important to you, and get into some place else that's safer. Um, let's see. I'm going to let you take a look at the back here. These things do not have a unlimited shelf life, if you, as you can see right there. I just purchased these, and these have a shelf life to 2022. So they do have a long shelf life, but it's not infinite. And each one of these little packets here just have a little pill. It's a tiny little pill you can sort of make it out. I'm not going to open these up because this is for me to keep my me and my family safe, or my family and I safe and this is 130 milligrams way over what you normally would take but again you're saturating your thyroid um this is not to be taken every day you should not be i just want to stress that as much as i can this is not something you just take every day you will wreck your body doing it this is in case of an emergency it should be in your bug out bag or in your um, you know, whatever you got, your prepping deal, whatever you got going on, this should be part of it. It's inexpensive, and it just gives you another layer of protection. 14 tablets. I recommend this company. This is the one that's FDA approved, um, and I always talk about getting your, your stuff from trusted sources, and I think this is a, the most trusted. That's why I bought them for myself. I trust this over all the others that I've seen. I'm not saying there's other good sources. This is the one just quickly reading about, getting familiar with this stuff that I trust. There's all kinds of warnings, all kinds of stuff. Go online, check it out, go to, to um, there's a website. Let me see. And I could go ahead and put this website too. It's called Anbex. Anbex and they have a lot of information on here and all the instructions and everything but um protect yourself absolutely fda approved highly recommended remember it can happen don't say oh you're just prepping you're just one of those crazy nuts none of that stuff ever happens three mile island chernobyl fukushima um santa susanna field laboratory check out the wikipedia page i provided below and that is just one third of the puzzle. That's nuclear reactor problems. Again, dirty bombs, bombs, things like that. You you have other problems also. So be safe. Let me see if I covered everything really quick. Uh, terrorism, blah blah blah. FDA, everything is once there. So um, I don't want to keep on going on because I'm getting very redundant. So I think I really covered everything. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. So, <laughs> thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I want to keep you all around for a long time. So, you should do some things to protect yourself in case of, you know, something happens. I mean, you could see you had a terrorist just lately kill 50 people in a bar. 
um, these things do happen and it's always good to do some at the very minimum some reasonable preparation I would consider this reasonable preparation and um, you should have enough food and water for three days for you and your family do a little bit of Google search to find out how much you should have um, one other thing before I close things down um, this is a one of these is a daily dose for an adult so if you're a child you're going to take less or if you weigh less than a certain amount you're going to take less so make sure you read the directions on these guys to make sure that you don't OD on this because you could OD on anything even water and uh, I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt I, I want to stress again this is not I have my pinky up this is not to take as a daily regiment absolutely not 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 this is a case of emergency all right again thank you very much for watching and i really hope you have a great day take care bye